This is the next version of the uh, leg extension for the DJI flame wheel. I have four of them going right now. And it's about an, a little bit more than an inch longer, just a little bit north of an inch. And just you know, received several uh, messages about wanting to mount the GoPro inside its case beneath the uh, frame. So this, in, this extra inch on the arm will give a little bit more clearance. But I'll get it printed. Once these are done printing, I'll mount them. Uh, with, just with zip ties and then we'll check the clearance and see how it looks. Okay, the first set is ready. Actually, it's the first half set. I'm going to print another four here in a minute. And build time was about, it's like 51 minutes. I'll pull this one off so we can take a look. I printed these a little bit thinner at two millimeters thick. Just as a, as a test, you know, they're pretty flexible. Um, the, the shorter arms I printed at three millimeters thick, and that was about the right width. So, you know, once I get these mounted and test, um, I'll do I'll probably do another run uh, with a thicker width of three millimeters. There was the suggestion or question, could the GoPro be mounted inside this uh, case, you know, the GoPro mounting case, and have that sit beneath the frame. So I'm going to go ahead and put these new extensions on and mount them with these yellow zip ties. So as I pointed out, this is only two millimeters thick right now, but should be sufficient just to do, you know, a demonstration, a couple of flight tests and see uh, how much clearance we now have. So I'll go ahead and snip these off. Each set have three zip ties. And before I mount the longer extensions, I want to show you just the difference visually in length between the two. So that's a little bit more than an inch that we gain with these new arms and you can actually tell the difference in the thickness these original short arms are three millimeters and this is two so quite a bit of flex not as much flex much more rigid and what I'd like to do with these if anyone is interested uh, I'm working on a community site with a few multi rotor buddies it's called garagepilots.com and there's a forum over there where I'm posting updates just on my progress of different revisions of these arms but since this set of eight I'm not going to use if you would if you're interested just please sign up and post a comment in the forum in garagepilots.com and I'll get in touch with you and ship you these guys just as long as you pay for shipping um, because I'm no longer going to use them so I'll zip tie these in place. Okay, our legs are all mounted and looking good. You can tell that with the two millimeter uh, thickness on the legs. There's a little bit of wobble, but it's still pretty sturdy. So we take the GoPro inside the case and we'll put it underneath. We still have about a half inch of clearance, so that's good. You know, if you're flying the F450, then you might have it kind of mounted underneath. And as you know, you can invert your video feed. Now a couple of viewers have pointed out that you know if you mount this directly to any sort of frame there's not going to be much uh, vibration dampening so you know I'll be working on a few designs to reduce that but in the meantime you know, I've seen guys that have provided some sort of dampening material in between that and the frame and, and various techniques but 
Uh, as for now, the legs serve their purpose to get that GoPro in the case and have a little bit of clearance. And I'll just take it up for a quick test flight, you know, hover it and then land it just to see how the legs hold up. So pretty sturdy. I think that you know what I'll do is I'll go ahead and increase the thickness of the arm, the legs to three millimeters, and we should be good to go. So let me leave you with one last point. I had mentioned Garage Pilots earlier, and if you would please check out GaragePilots.com. It's a community that I've started with a couple of uh, multi-rotor buddies and. As part of it, there's actually a forum for 3D printing. And as you can see here, I've kind of talked a little bit about the progress on the uh, new arms. So as part of that, if you scroll to the bottom, uh, there's a link to our GitHub page. And if you're not familiar with GitHub, don't worry about it right now. It's a place where I will be posting and hopefully others will get involved with the project of 3D designs for the multi-rotor community. So, as a starting place, I've posted the SketchUp file for the extensions as well as the uh, STL file, which is basically the file that you take directly into MakerWare or whatever uh, program you're using to 3D print. It's actually something you could take and upload to Shapeways. And I just felt like that was the right thing to do. I've received a lot of really good feedback, and I'm not going to be able to you know, print a bunch of arms for, for people. So I think it makes more sense to kind of put this out in the community. Hopefully others will improve it. Uh, we're going to do some open source stuff around design. So um, check out garagepilots.com and our GitHub page. And please let me know if you have any questions, if you're interested in contributing. And thanks for watching.